I have a new video for you guys because today we are talking about the bizarre connection between Britney Spears' former house and actress Britney Murphy's death. Because Britney Spears bought this house on Rising Glen Road and she knew there was something wrong with it. She got out immediately and then actress Britney Murphy moved in. She then passed under mysterious circumstances and then her husband passed five months later. So I have a feeling that Britney Spears knew there was something seriously wrong with that house and that's why she got out. So today, let's talk about this bizarre connection and what it really means. <music> As you guys know, we talk a ton about Britney Spears on my channel. I believe in the Free Britney movement and that she needs her rights because she has been stuck in a conservatorship for 13 years and it's been far too long. But today we're also talking about another Britney, Britney Murphy. She is an actress who you may recognize from Clueless, 8 Mile, Uptown Girls, she was in several big movies, and she was a pretty big actress, until she unfortunately passed away in her house under mysterious pretenses. She was only 32 years old, and then her husband, who was 39, passed the same way five months later. So we're going to walk through what exactly happened here, but I want to tell you guys why this story came about. So there's a podcast titled We Need to Talk About Britney by Jen Zorowski, and pretty much this podcast, they speak about what's going on with Britney Spears, they talk about memories and stories, and actually one of her former makeup artists was on the, is on the podcast, and she spoke about her experience with Britney, and honestly the podcast is great, but I want to share a two minute clip with you guys because she talks a little bit about this house, and she claims that Britney Spears knew that there were some like like demons in the house and she got out immediately because she pretty much invited a spiritual healer into the home after a weekend of partying and then that spiritual healer supposedly opened a portal there were some bad spirits trying to push Britney Spears down the stairs so Britney left immediately sold the house to Britney Murphy and then Britney Murphy had a tragic loss. So we'll talk a little bit more about that, but I'm going to play this bit of the podcast and we can react to it together. But there was also another incident. See, I'm jumping all over the place. But Here we go. This, this story has to be told. Okay. We, she had that place up on Sunset Plaza. And I'm just going to say, this is really weird. She had the place in Sunset Plaza. She calls me and she says, um, I had my friend do Reiki healing on her. Like he had come up and I guess she had a crazy partying weekend and needed to relax. If you guys don't know what Reiki healing is, it's just like some spiritual healer and um and you know, you know, in Hollywood in California, there's a lot of spiritual beliefs and healers and different things that you can do. Honestly, I feel like California is a very spiritual place, probably LA in particular. Honestly, I don't know too much because I've like really I've been to California like one time, like <laughs> passing through. But anyways, let's continue. He left. She swears to God that they're like, it, he opened some spirit portal or something oh. and these bad spirits had come in and it was like a male and a female and they were trying to like push her down the stairs or something crazy. It was so bad that she left. She went to the Casa Del Mar Hotel to stay there and never went back to the house again. Wow. So you can tell that Brittany had whatever experience with this person. She believes it opened a portal. And honestly, that's why I'm wearing my big cross today because um, this story gets a little bit scary. She was so like, and she goes, yeah, I know you're going to think I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I know what I saw. I know I know what I felt, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, no, I believe that. So I did it didn't really weird me out that much, but um, she was very persistent about it, and she put her house on the market. And guess who bought that house? Who? And died in it. Oh, gosh. Like, so aggressive right there. But yeah, um, so Brittany Murphy bought the house, and she bought it with everything in it. Like, Brittany left everything behind. She never went back to the house. I'm sure she had some type of personal assistant go get like some special things, you know, like a laptop or like outfits that are iconic and, you know, for Britney Spears. But she left, she kept all the furniture and everything in there and she sold it to Britney Murphy. Britney Murphy. What? Britney Murphy bought that house. And I thought, oh my God, that's crazy. Because <sighs> Britney Murphy died in that house and then her husband died in the house. It was like, maybe that house is cursed. I don't know. Yeah. Britney was right. Britney was right. And all also, who is that Reiki healer that opened up some portal right. to people <laughs> in that house? But isn't that story bananas? 
Like it's so bananas. I remember like, wow, what now I, I lived in a, a, a haunted house. I, I, I believe all that stuff. Are you surprised that she married Kevin? Does that surprise you? Okay. And then we're just like sidetracking completely talking about Kevin Federline, which if you guys don't know the tea about Kevin Federline, definitely go check out my video on him because he has been making like what? $40,000 a month off of Britney Spears. So he is on, you know, team anti-free Britney because he loves the conservatorship. He's making uh, $480,000 a year off of the conservatorship. But um, anyways, back to the story. Isn't that crazy? So Britney had this encounter with the spiritual healer and he supposedly opened some portal into the home and she like felt the vibes. She knew she needed to get out and she did. So Britney Murphy bought the home from Britney Spears back in 2003 and her husband been gave an interview about you know what was going on with Brittany up into her passing in December and when he was sharing in an interview he explained that Brittany Murphy hated the home that she would constantly stay in the bathroom because the bathroom was kind of like her safe space even though she was constantly anxious while being in there you know trying on her cosmetics playing with her perfumes criticizing her body in the mirror she was unhappy in this home and it was clear she would ask her husband constantly, can we just go stay at the Beverly Hills Hotel tonight? Can we just go and escape from the home? And he would tell her, you know, politely, like, hey, like, we've got a 10,000 square foot home and we need to enjoy this. So we're going to stay here. Her husband, Simon, claimed that she hated the home. And he gave this interview to a magazine only three months after her passing and two months before his passing. The breaking news about Brittany Murphy's passing went worldwide. She was only 32 years old. She was a phenomenal actress and everyone was surprised. Hollywood is mourning the loss of Brittany Murphy this morning. The 32-year-old actress died on Sunday from what officials say appear to be natural causes. An autopsy is planned reportedly against the wishes of her husband. CBS News correspondent John Blackstone has this report. It was December 2009 and Brittany was found by her husband collapsed in her master bathroom, her comfort zone, her safe space that she had within the house. Murphy passed from a combination of pneumonia, iron deficiency, and multiple drugs that were illegal and that she was using to treat respiratory infections that she had. This came out a few months, it was February 10th when the report came out about what happened to Brittany Murphy and it was really unsettling for a lot of people. Actually, her father went on to an interview and claims that he believes that she was poisoned and that's what happened because even the mixture that was going on in her body didn't quite make sense and the fact that she just collapsed at 32 years old wasn't adding up. And like I said, five months later, her husband Simon, who is a screenwriter, was found in his home and he passed away at only 39 years old, five months after his wife Brittany and only after three years of marriage. That's really unfortunate and heartbreaking that they both passed away like that. But it's crazy to think that they both passed away very similarly. He passed away and collapsed in his home just like his wife Brittany did. His death was caused by acute pneumonia and severe anemia, just like his wife, Brittany. It's so sketchy that they both passed in such a similar way, and everyone's so unsure of what really happened. Investigators found that the home was suffering from a pack rat and hoarding situation. There was also a ton of mold and dust supposedly in the home, and that supposedly made the situation worse for Murphy and her husband Simon because they had pneumonia and things like that, so it definitely contributed to it. But it's weird to think that this home was in such poor condition when it did not appear to be so. I mean, there was probably hoarding issues, yeah, but like it was a gigantic home and there is no reason that she and he would collapse at such a young age and in such an unexpected way. Did Britney Spears know that this was going to happen? Do you guys think that this could have been spiritual? Like part of me thinks sometimes like, I don't know, I feel like there could be things out there that could like possess you and make you take certain substances or make you consume certain things or I don't know, the house can just like take over you. And I have a feeling that there is a connection between these two because Britney Spears felt the bad energy. She left it there to live and to take over Britney Murphy's life.
Obviously, there is a time gap between when Britney Murphy bought the home and when Britney Spears left it. There were quite a number of years, and this story has been going viral on TikTok and such, and I feel like that part gets kind of ignored that she, Britney Murphy, did live in it for a long time. She also lived a very sad life in that house. Up until her passing, she was having issues with work, she was having issues with her husband, and it seemed like the house was just enclosing on her and she couldn't keep up with it anymore. So that story is really terrifying again that's why I'm wearing my big um my big cross today while I talk about it because I do feel like there is more to this story and that Hollywood is a very dark place not only the creepy producers but like spiritually I feel like LA is just like <laughs> rampant like there are a lot of spirits there good and bad and you know the whole like we could really get into the conspiracies if we really want to but i do feel like this passing of britney murphy um it i don't feel good about it i don't think that the autopsy does it for me i think there's more to the story and this makeup artist just opened a little door into a bigger problem with that that cursed house but i do want to mention in 2011 it was bought over it was completely redone it's like super modern Modern now um they made it bigger too so it's an even bigger home so um maybe they renovated the curses out of there but i don't think it works that way but comment below what you guys think about this situation because when britney murphy did pass the world was shook and i feel like it was way too early and maybe this little bit of like clue from this podcast just kind of uh shed some light into what really happened here I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you guys know, I like to open P.O. Box packages on my uh, YouTube video, and I actually got two today. I've been getting a lot lately, so I'm going to try to open these two just at the end. Um, not too long, but, you know, give them their moment. This one is from Qualtree in London. Oh, no, <laughs> Linden. Linden, UT. So, what is UT? Utah? I think it's Utah. Um, and I don't know if Qualtree is a brand or a person, but let's go ahead and see what's in there. Actually, one of you guys sent me this really amazing, like, letter opener, which is, like, literally a sword and um, it's been very helpful when trying to open these packages because you guys know I always struggled. So let's see what this is. Ooh, I'm kind of scared. So there doesn't seem to be a note, but there is a package. Oh, it's from Amazon. Oh my gosh, wait, okay, here we go. Again, I don't see a note in here, but it looks like it's from Jennifer Qualtree. Jennifer Qualtree Service, Jennifer. Oh no, the company is Qualtree and Jennifer sent it to me, I think. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Let's see what this is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at this thing. It's a little like knife um, a knife thing? What is it called? Like a pocket knife that has my name on it. Literally says Sloan on it and it says, thank you for being a light. <gasps> wow, this is so heavy and nice too. And it's like real wood with the engraving of my name. I am shook. I hope your name is Jennifer. It's not really clear from this, but thank you so much, Jen. This is so sweet. Like I wish it had a little note like to say who this was from, but I'm assuming it's Jennifer because it says service Jennifer. I don't know if that's the person that works there though, but wow thank you so much for this. I have nothing like this and I actually like really need one because um, I never have a tool nor do I have a knife. So thank you so much for this. And if I do not, if you're not Jennifer, please email me so I could properly thank you. Um, I, I feel very grateful that you sent me this. And it's so like, I love having custom items. Like this is iconic. So thank you so much. Then I have one more package I'm gonna quickly open. I'm sorry guys, I'm not trying to make it quick, but I also just feel bad that like, I feel like I wanna do one package per video, but then I have like literally 12 packages over there and I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with the videos and then people aren't gonna get their moment and like, I'm sorry. But this one is from Bond Beauty and they actually have a little sticker and it says Bond Beauty on the outside. So I'm assuming this is some type of brand, maybe one of your guys. Let's see if this one has a card. You guys know I love when you have a good card. Yes. Okay, so this is from Bethany Bond and I'm assuming her brand is Beauty Bond or Bond Beauty. Wow, I love the name of that. Sloan, I love watching your videos. Thank you for bringing awareness to topics that don't get much exposure. I appreciate you so much and you are so authentic. This is my small business, Bond Beauty, and I wanted to send you a couple of my products I think you would love. Let me know your thoughts on it. And her Instagram is BondXBeauty. So I'll definitely um, link her Instagram and her store below. You guys know when you send me something from your store, I will always give you guys a shout out. And I love that you guys are like such entrepreneurs. Like I can't even figure out my life. So this looks like it's a package right here. Wow. She also left some like petals in here. Look at that. I love how it's like a vibe. Like you are giving me the vibe, Bethany. So here is her business card for Bond Beauty. Again, she's on Instagram and it looks like she sent me, oh, okay. So Bond Moms, please leave in the fridge for 30 minutes. Oh, okay, cool. So she's got some products here. Let's see what's going on. So she sent me two. One is called, uh, uh, oh, a brow and eyelash growth 
serum and it's lavender with almond oil wow i love that Ooh. Uh, okay because you guys know i actually have put um what's it called do i put on my i put rogaine on my eyebrows so this is probably a lot more like <laughs> like legit than rogaine because um sometimes i'm worried on what that's going to do and then wow she sent me some oh it looks like a lip balm and it's called uh pomegranate uh passionate pomegranate Ooh. Oh my gosh, yes, and I love pomegranates too. I love picking them. I used to film videos where I would just pick pomegranates and talk to the camera. Oh, those were the days. Mm, wow, this smells so good. Thank you so much, Bethany, and thank you so much to whoever sent me the um the key thing. I hope it's Jen or whoever it is. Like, please let me know so I can properly thank you. I really appreciate it, guys, and I'm just so shook that you were like, what? You're such a businesswoman over here. Bond's beauty, but uh, every day I'm so impressed by each and every one of you, and I'm so grateful. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.